Okay, so uh, we're on page uh, 114 and 115 now. Okay, tie the hanker with Moreau Tedori footwork. This may seem uh, a very short piece because it's, uh, but if you've got the tie hanker correct, you know, there's all the pieces correct, they hold you, but as we shift the weight, turn the front foot. Now this one, you 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 float. I've made other films with the can and showing you how how you float the foot from side to side. We do the weapons to improve our tight it so this is the only reason we do the weapons right timing well timing fear panic overcoming so many things but but uh, it's uh, to improve our tight it so so if we move like this a slightly outward foot it's okay now because you might be here having a firm, a firm feeling with your hips. So foot straight or slightly turned. Turn the anchor. The person holds you. You turn here. Turn the anchor with Marite Dory footwork. You turn. Instead of coming back here, you adjust. So turn the hanker here, my rotate dory footwork here. So this is a little more interesting on these two pages. Bring it to your centre. Fix it, not this side of your central line, but this side of your central line. Turn the fingers upright. Bring the thumb in, don't leave the thumb out. So that you've got this cup, the other side of your breast line. So it's used to say, keep that side of the breastbone, not this side. This is for basic and also if you want to throw them. So the Tana Hinka. Shift to the centre. Footwork. Now, as you turn from here, if the hand's on the wrong side of the breastbone, when you turn it will feel like a pull and if they're, even if they're moving and they anchor themselves, They'll put, they'll pull you and stop you moving this hand afterwards. So the hand has to be located in the middle. Show you from this angle. So go to that place. When you're about here, let's say this is uh, this is twelve o'clock. I'm at 10 o'clock with my centre. As I now turn like this and I dig in, you should hear, if it's not too noisy, you should hear their back foot as they come round, as you take that extra little step, that usually makes their back foot do this. If, it, if they only do that, you haven't got it correct. Okay, so they're holding and all of a sudden it, it makes that happen. So, turn the hanker. About here, you're going to, as you do that, that's when you hear their back foot move.
That's when you hear that back foot move, that last, that last piece. If that back foot moves, it needs to move or else you can't do the Moroti Dori throw. If that back foot's in the way, you can't get behind them because they didn't move, they're in your way. So, so you've done that, they're in your way, you, you, you would never be able to throw them with all of this. Their back foot moves, that means their angle, their body moves. The angle now is, if I had the Joe, that they're the angle of the Joe and I'm the angle of the Joe. So I now step in the angle of the Joe, I bring this up to this side of the breastbone. I now, when I get to here, I lift this under their chin because they're light, they can't dig into that. They're light. I push the front leg, the same as my rotator, turn the hips, finish the same. So, that's the angle we'll say they're going to end up. They're level with you. Okay. This is this side of the breastbone, not this side. They've moved to the angle of the jaw. I'm at the angle of the jaw. The distance is the same. I step behind them, straighten the leg, turn the hips. You know, this all works like a, a little machine. One, as it's about to end, turn, as it's about to end, turn, as it's about to end. All right. Sorry, I got that wrong talking. Right, so here, straighten it, come up, you're, you're coming up all the time, right? Up, I do it, I do it all at once. it's all one, it's not staggered like that. This is for your one-to-one -one personal practice like I'm doing here. Dynamic. Dynamic. It should fall in an exact line this way. So if my body was a if my body was a straight Joe, they would be the T. They would, they would be on top of the, the straight Joe. That would be a T angle. If they fall to the side like that, it means I use too much shoulders. Okay, so if you throw them too much, you didn't think you should throw them as your shoulders, but if you do, they'll end up around there that way. They should fall straight under your your wrists. There. There. Okay. I don't feel as if that was one of my best, even though I should shouldn't say that, should I really? In the teacher, but I am still a student. 
it's very difficult that one but it's also very beautiful and really enjoyable once you get it all the pieces correct so please um please work full arms full. There's a wonderful statue of Osensi, I think in a place called Tanby, of him doing that bronze statue. Okay, until the next time we'll carry on and the next time. So these were the pages um, One one four one one five. Okay. Try not to rush. Try to work it out. Try everything you can. If you can have the advantage of a partner, you know, self practice is always a wonderful thing. We perhaps don't do enough of it because we think we need to be on the mat. Or we think we need a partner. That's not always the case. You know, you can work all these shapes out. Uh, you might criticise yourself, take yourself off, but you know this will be your know when it feels good or not. And yes, it might not work when you get on the mat with a partner. But at least you've you know you've worked it out. And if it doesn't work with a partner, then you've missed something out, and you've got to go back to study. You, know, you might have tried entering in on the Moroti Dori rather than. You know, drop it out before you enter. Before you went like this, you might have needed to soften it, draw, draw on it more. You know, kind of hanky. You might have gone into them rather than, you know, rather than leave it there. You might have sort of moved it that way as you went to go in. So rather than go to that, make make sure it's the other side. Adjust the foot, adjust both feet, adjust, do things what need doing. Step, roll. I always fix the fingers, I don't know why, but perhaps since he told me. I fix the fingers to my gi, so I've got a pivot, something to press against to pivot. This movement is what's going to unbalance them to get their, their body back on its own. Pulling it off won't work. You've got to bring it up and roll it fully. Bring it up, roll it fully. Don't have a good